channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I teach third grade in Central California. But today, we're talking teacher outfits. So, I'm opening up my closet and showing you my newest fall finds. All of the links for these outfits and similar ones will be in the description down below. And some of them will be affiliate links, which just means if you buy directly from that link, I get a very small percentage at no extra cost to you. And that money pretty much just goes straight back into buying new clothes because I have a problem and because I like to show you the new stuff. So today, I'm showing you the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between. So let's go. Cute. Okay. So this dress is from JCPenney's. I don't know the exact price, but it is super soft and comfy. It has pockets and it's the perfect teacher midi length. You will be shocked at how much I dogged this dress up because I'm not gonna lie to you. This dress was originally in the bad category. Not necessarily ugly, just not, not good. You know, kind of bad. Sweaters from Forever 21. And without the sweater, I have a long sleeve burgundy fall midi dress. My belt is from Forever 21, and I believe this belt and sweater were each about 10 to 13 bucks. Guys, this was the original. Really didn't think anything special of it. With the pocket, you can't really miss it. So, so if you just throw in some accessories, like a belt or a sweater, you'll be good to go. All right, next outfit. All right. So I think I'm gonna wear this for a pair of teacher purposes tomorrow because I feel like a box. All right, so these pants, I actually, I wasn't quite sure about to be honest. The length, the flowiness, they're always kind of cute in theory and I just never know how they're gonna actually look on. But I must say I really like them and because the sideways kind of gives you a cute little shape. The only thing I'm not a fan of though is the pocket. So you can actually still see the outline. They're not see-through, for being white, they're not see-through, but you can see the pockets, and it's just like, that's not cute, you know? So I don't know why we did that. So these pants were originally, <laughs> why do I do this? These pants are originally 60 bucks, and I got them for 50% off, and now they're even on a little bigger sale for $23. So I would go get them. I would get them in a different color maybe, or if you don't care about the pockets, then just go for it. This red shirt is from Shein. This was $13. It is the Ditsy Floral Top. I always wanna say Ditsy Daisy, but Ditsy Floral. I like that it has the little tie sleeve things. However, they should be double knotted before you go do anything because they will get untied a bajillion times a day and you're just gonna have to retie them. So yeah, this is outfit number two. Next outfit. Okay, so this shirt is from Shein. Again, 13 bucks, and it's my new favorite. So this is the Dalmatian Flare Sleeve. Shein, this is 13 bucks, can't beat that. The sleeves are like a little bell sleeve, but not too big to where it's annoying and like gets in everything. It's like just the right amount of cute 70s-ness. This is like a perfect throw on and go shirt that makes you still look like fancy, you know? It has a way of falling just right to where like, even if you're bloated, it's not gonna show it. I feel like anyone can put this on and just like look chic, you know? I have them on with black pants for now, but I think it would look really cute with white pants as well. So yeah, maybe some white jeans, white shorts with some wedges. Ooh, getting some summer vibes, but we're talking about fall. So perfect fall, winter shirt. All right, next shirt. All right, so this is a lime green neon shirt because you know your girl loves neon, no matter what season it is. So this shirt is from New York Company. I can't find the original in lime green, but they do have different colors, like red, black, white, for about 20, 30 bucks. I will link those in the description down below as well. But as for the lime green, I will try to find a similar one, so if you're into the neon feel like I am, I got you covered. But heads up, this shirt is kind of see-through. I have on like a tan undershirt, so you would be able to see through it. It is a little low cut as far as like teacher wear kind of goes, but it's long, so it's good for leggings and also would look cute like tucked in or tied up after work or something like that. But now, on to my new all-time favorite shirt. All right, so this is my new all-time favorite shirt because it is very versatile. So I love the snake print, of course. It goes perfect, which is like black jeans. I feel like if I had a black, skirts or dress pants, it would go really good with this too. Also, 
this is a perfect Friday shirt because work appropriate, it's even long so you can wear it with leggings. But once school's out, you wanna hang out with some friends, you can just give it a little tie. And now you just went from teacher to hit normal young chick, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so this is one of my favorites for multiple reasons. This shirt is from Shein, $14. If you follow me on Like to Know It or Instagram, you already saw this beauty. If you do buy this one, I'm going to warn you that they have a lot that look just like this one. This one is the rose gold. And this is the hem length, something like that. They have some that are bell sleeves, some that are straight across, some that are crop tops. I'll link it down below, don't you worry. All right, next outfit. And this one's interesting, guys. We are on to the ugly. Okay, so this doesn't look too bad as a whole, right? Like this looks good. It's the sleeves. What are what are these? Okay, I, I'm all about 80s, but this is like a little a little much, okay? And it makes me feel like not proportionate, you know? Like this is all shoop, like a little fitted and a little flowy, and then bam, sleeves and all this fabric going on, so. So close, so close. But because the sleeves, I'm afraid it's gonna have to be thrown in the ugly category. It's too late for me to return it, so I'm hoping that my mother can work some magic and just take some of this off or in. I don't care, even if it looks botched because I can at least throw a sweater over it. This is too big for me to throw a sweater over. So anyway, this dress is from New York and Company. It was originally $80, but I got it on sale 50% off for $40. So this is one of the ones that I will put the link for this dress in the description down below, but I will also put links for dresses similar that I would have gotten instead of this one, like foreshadowing if I knew the sleeves were gonna be ginormous. I'll put the links for those ones in the description down below. So that way you can have a cute denim dress and you won't have to cut the sleeves off. So let's switch it out for my last outfit, which is not in the ugly category, but it is kind of bad. How many times have I chopped my face off during this video? Okay, so this doesn't look you can hear my floors creaking, my goodness. Okay, so this outfit doesn't look bad altogether. I, I'm aware of that. But here's the mistake. These pants are low rise pants and your girl hasn't got low rise pants since 2009 because then your girl got hips and hips don't work with straight across low rise stuff. It just doesn't in my experience. So, so these are not the most comfortable. They're also very tight just right here. And it looks fine with a longer shirt, but I feel like actual in class, I can't bend down. I feel like my little butt crack's gonna hang out or something like that. So these were not ideal. They will work. They are standing pants or they are Zoom pants where I am just sitting. Just not a lot of moving going on there, okay? And then onto the shirt. The shirt, I don't know what this is, but I feel like we could have had the same cute necktie even without this. So really this outfit just belongs together because they're just both kind of wrong, okay? With that being said, both of these are from New York and Company. These pants, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you the best, worst part. These pants are all season stretch. Excuse me, I got these in summer, not stretch. It's now turning winter, still not stretch. So how about no season, no stretch? That's more what these pants are because they're so freaking tight around my leg. Okay, these are from Newark and Company. These are originally $54.95. They're on sale, half off. You, you do the math on that one. And the shirt, I believe I have the tag still on because like I said, I don't really like it. This shirt is originally $50. I don't know why this polka dot shirt is $50. I, I don't get it, I'll be honest with you there. Really don't get it, but that's what this is. Okay, well, I'm rambling now. If you are very observant, you saw that I did have one more sweater up there and I took it down. But that is because I think I'm gonna do just a straight up sweater, jacket, winter, fall haul video. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna actually save that for the actual sweater one where they belong. Because none of these have sweaters in them. So it's like, which is the one that doesn't belong? That one. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you for watching my fall outfit video with the good, the bad, the ugly and everything else. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week. Bye guys.